I'm totally nervous. And why am I nervous? Because the, uh, rolling pin is probably in our bedroom. Tis the frosberry, the frost, frozen strawberries, frostberries. I'm making up words now. Come together right now over my cool We're running short on time. No one is shocked. Next up, gooey butter cake. All right, this is a little bit of a cheater version, okay? This is how grandma does it, but I'm not gonna lie. People probably are gonna hate this. Bagel. This is how I can never have a cooking show. This is also how I could never have a cooking show. Y'all see that shark that just swam by? There he goes again. There's definitely a shark in the water. Hey y'all, welcome to Baking with Jamie on From Suits to Boots. Uh, this is the very first episode of probably some that won't be much more, but that's okay. We're going to give it a whirl. Today, I was invited. There's dirt on my head. No one is shocked. It's, it's a normal day here. I've been in the garden. I've been with the animals. It's been busy. I don't do bake shows, okay? I'm not very good at this. But we're going to give it a whirl. And this is actually a practice round because today I got invited to join Dan and Lou with Daniel Morrow Outdoors in a cooking episode. And I'm totally nervous. And why am I nervous? Because I think that I touch my face and my hair and pick up my clothes and pull up my pants and pull down my shirt. And I do everything that you're not supposed to do when you're doing a cooking show. So I'm going to practice with y'all. And we're not going to count the times that I do all of those things, but I am going to like pay extremely close attention to how I navigate through this because in just a few hours, I have to head to Plum Grove and cook with them. And you're like, why would they want to cook with you, Jamie? Don't they know that like you are not a baker or a cooker or like a professional in any way? I tried to tell them, okay? But it turns out they're doing this series of something from every state, like a state series, a special meal. And their Illinois is on deck and I'm from Illinois. So they're like, hey, you wanna join us? And I was like, sure, I would love to, I would be honored. It actually was hilarious because Daniel sent me a text that was like, this is Daniel from Daniel Moore Outdoors. We were interested, wondering if you're interested in a, joining us on an episode. So I replied very professionally as well. I was like, well, hey, this is Jamie with From Suits to Boots and I would be honored to represent. Do I need to bring my own recipe? What are we making? So I did find their recipe. That's gonna be exciting, but they're just cooking the meal. So I'm gonna give the practice round with dessert here and I couldn't decide of which, look, I'm touching my face. Don't worry, I'm gonna wash my hands before I touch food. I couldn't decide which dessert I was gonna make because both are pretty iconic of where I'm from and both are my grandma's recipes. Okay, so this recipe comes from the Germantown Spas Fest cookbook and it is strawberry pretzel jello. You may know it as strawberry salad or pretzel salad. Everything from the Midwest is like casserole-ish, usually in a nine by 13 pan that you can bring and you write your name on the bottom of the pan and a piece of uh, scotch tape and when it gets washed, you get it returned to you. That's how, that's how it goes in the Midwest. So we're making, I'm gonna call it pretzel salad because that's what we call it in our family. And then we're also making my Grandma Ritz's famous gooey butter cake and yes this is her exact episode and her exact episode this is her exact recipe i'm so nervous this is what i'm talking about this is her exact recipe she took a picture of it for me today and sent it you see the little thumbprint right here this makes my heart so happy to have this right here not typed to me i was like take a picture of your recipe card and send that sucker over so gooey butter cake and pretzel salad on deck first up is pretzel salad because it needs to chill the longest and we have we have like two hours before we have to leave this house and i'm i need i need five hours all right first up crushed pretzels sugar and melted oleo. We are not using oleo. I grew up thinking that oleo was a thing that you used on everything. It's not a thing. We're using butter. So we are altering this just to, it's not going to taste just like grandma's. We're going to combine that pretzel sugar 
and oleo in my pan and we're gonna bake it at 350. So step one, oven 350. Six and a half. Don't worry, we have plenty of butter. We don't run out of butter at this house. Oh, boy. oh you're gonna hear lots of clanking because that's that's how my cabinets work here. Where, where would I have put sugar? Sugar on me. The thing is, we gotta crush some pretzels. And here we go, touching my hair. Pause before I open up any food. I'm going to wash my hands. Also, for anybody that hates the fact that I'm cooking in a kitchen that has animals in it typically like we live on a farm so are the morrows it's just part of it that should be about a cup and a half by the time I get it all crushed the other issue is that the this is embarrassing the uh, rolling pin is probably in our bedroom I'm gonna use this nine by thirteen pan like it's our job. A cup and a half. Don't be scared to measure with your heart a little bit because that's how everyone in my family does. We got a little extra, just a smidge. Again, we don't get excited about measuring with our heart here. We wing it. One, two. Three. That's all the sugar I need. That's going back in. So I mentioned that this recipe was from the Germantown Spas Fest. The Germantown Spas Fest is a German festival. It happens every single year, the last weekend in August. It used to be much bigger when I was a kid. We need to do that a little bit more. A little bit more. Carnival games. A whole lot of polka. Uh, but they do a cookbook every single year. And they're pretty iconic. Uh, my mom has many of them. Um, and it's kind of neat that grandma's recipes and other people from the town uh, all get credit. Melted. So we're going to pour that in. You probably could have done this inside the pan and not had to wash this bowl afterwards, but you know, I'm trying to be more professional. This is how it should look. Yeah, that's not popcorn, that's crumbled up pretzels. Okay, we're gonna put that in the bottom here. And then, we're gonna get out a rubber scraper. Okay, that's what you get. This bakes for eight to 10-ish minutes. And our oven is close to ready. Direction set. Next, mix your cream cheese, powdered sugar, and Cool Whip. So we have a package of cream cheese, Cool Whip, which apparently used to be nine ounces and is now eight, sign of the times. And a cup of powdered sugar. If I really was my grandma, this would be going right in my sink to be washed too. If. All right, I am my grandma that's going in my sink to be washed. Fold this in. Oh boy. She ain't defrosted enough. That's a problem. Chunky. So we probably won't get to mixing that all together right away. But it's gonna be fine. Oh, where, oh, where can my $5 fancy super mixer be? Okay, this is mixed up to the best of our abilities at this time. It's it's a little bit chilly. It's gonna be okay though. Uh, 
our pretzel pieces have about two more minutes left. Here's a weird part in this recipe. It calls for, yes, this is, this is how recipes that are printed end up at my house, melted and destroyed. So it's a great idea to save them digitally. Uh, it calls for two 10 ounce packages of frozen strawberries. Well, tis the frostberry, the frost, frozen strawberries, frostberries. I'm making up words now. It calls for two frozen packages of strawberries and tis the season for fresh fruit. So we are using fresh strawberries today. No, we're not going to, we're not going to bark like that. So what I'm going to do while my pretzels are finishing is go ahead and slice up my strawberries. Okay, this is what your bum will look like when it's out. Very similar to what it was, except for it's stuck now, which is excellent. All right, then we're gonna take the middle parts here. That's all whipped together. And we're just gonna layer it on, practically making lasagna here. I'm sure it can qualify as something just as healthy. We just won't talk about it. I mean, it has fruit, it has dairy, it has wheat. It's gonna be great. There's probably some protein in the strawberries. I don't know that answer. Spread it out nice and even. Make sure that you let that cool enough to where this isn't gonna melt when it hits it. And you're trying really hard not to do what I just did and pick any pretzels up. So you want to stay pretty thick to where you aren't shuffling around and don't be too don't worry so much about what it looks like because it's going to get covered up anyway. Just try to get it as even as you can. Looks like you just iced a cake essentially. All right, where'd my recipe go? Next up, we need two cups of boiling water and six ounces of strawberry jello. Two of the small boxes of strawberry jello and two cups of boiling water. So when you stir the jello, then you're gonna add your strawberries and pour it on. These are my sliced strawberries. I bought frozen just in case that these didn't come in, but this is going right back in the freezer. We're going fresh today. We're going all out for Marrow Hill. Let me get this boiling. You don't need to watch me. And we're back because we're boiling. All right. Dumping my two cups of boiling water into my freshly cleaned bowl. have a good like presentation kitchen. I did at the sanctuary, but here, this is more like a, this is a, a working kitchen. It definitely has fabulous amount of counter space, but it doesn't have great video counter space. So I'm dumping my two jello packets in, stirring with a fork because I am that weirdo. And it says in the directions when it starts to congeal, I've never heard of that word, but I'm gonna say when it starts to make you feel like it's jello-y, then add your strawberries. Meaning when it starts to cool and feel like it's not just a fork whipping through water. All right, I'm at my jello to cool it off. I'm at my strawberries to cool it off. It's happening. Selfishly, I'm leaving those for me. All right, stir it up. Hope that that coolness of your berries makes that jello come together right now. Over my cool it in. We're gonna be brave here because this has got to go in the fridge. You ready? berries maybe we're gonna own it though because we're committed it's too late let's hope that we didn't just oh look one's left over let's hope we didn't just make strawberry soup okay pretzel 
Brussels salad's going in the refrigerator as soon as I make room. We're running short on time. No one is shocked. Next up, gooey butter cake. All right, this is a little bit of a cheater version, okay? This is how grandma does it, but I'm not gonna lie. People probably are gonna hate this. You're gonna use a box cake mix. Not even kidding. You're going to use one stick of oleo. Real soft, as grandma says. Uh, you're gonna use some eggs, okay? And you're going to blend all that together and press it into a nine by 13 greased pan. So, let's get that started. Just give me one that I can hold on to. Now, my grandma will grease a pan with that butter wrapper. So you know what? We're doing the same dang thing today. We're gonna grease that sucker right up. If I could ever get this box open. All right. Get out of me. One cake mix, two eggs. Grandma says that she lets her eggs sit out so they can be closer to room temperature so it it doesn't make the butter stiffen up because you want that to be so soft. So, two eggs coming in hot. One, two. All righty. Let's get this butter a little bit more softened. Toss that in there. And we're going to mix it up. And we are not going to mess around. We are using the mixer this time, friends. It distinctly says press into 9 by 13 greased pan and bake 35 to 40 minutes at 375. Let's turn that on. Spread out. This is one of those things where I'm like, well, I hope that's greased enough. Really hoping she's greased enough. Hoping that there was plenty of butter left on my on my wrapper there because this is sticky. So my favorite part of this cake is the corner. So I'm very particular about the corners here. My grandma Redtimer makes the very best version of this. Doesn't matter what you buy in a store or who else's I've tried, even my own. She's the best. I am believing later in life that it's whatever she's using as butter, which probably isn't butter, um, and it's something to do with her oven. She has some magical oven. Or pan. Maybe it's the pan. Or maybe it's just love. Maybe it's just so full of love, which is possible. So we, today we made Grandma Marilyn's pretzel salad, Grandma Ritz's gooey butter cake, and this is all in celebration of Illinois night at Dan and Lou's house. Okay. Hi. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Smells good. So, this is what it looks like. It's very simple, but it's going in the oven for 35 whole minutes. Cross your fingers, cross your fingers. Dishes and get ready for round two. We're gonna go ahead and mix up the last part while that is in the oven. It is eight ounces of cream cheese, two eggs, and three cups of powdered sugar. We're gonna mix it all in. Bagel. This is how I can never have a cooking show. This is also how I could never have a cooking show. Y'all see that shark that just swam by? There it goes again. There's definitely a shark in the water. I just did the dumbest thing ever. <sighs> okay. I, re I really did it. I got lost in this video. And you can see I'm like in total, can't believe it. Why do I have so much dirt on my face? 
you aren't supposed to bake the first part first. You're supposed to put it in the bottom and leave it sit while you mix this up and then pour it into it. <laughs> We're gonna need a redo. And I can't believe it, I bought an extra cake. <laughs> so, delete all of that part. Start over. This might be the funniest thing I've ever done, and it's all because I was actually reading a recipe instead of just doing what I remembered. For the record, that's what I'm gonna blame this on. This way, I buy more than I need of things, so that way, when I jack it all up, I have plenty to correct what I've done. This is ridiculous. See that? And now she's going in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Watch until golden brown. Here's the mistake cake. That's what we're gonna call that mistake cake. But here is the gooey butter cake. It's coming along y'all. And it's looking delicious. Close that bad boy back out. Y'all, gooey butter cake the right way. We're not gonna talk about my mistake cake. <laughs> okay, 45 minutes before we have to leave to get to Dan and Lou's house. Cool off, baby, cool off. <laughs> 